Hi, my name is Steve Labranchi. I'm the owner of a 3D Earth Imagery Research Lab called Eagle Geoscience. Here, I'm going to talk about my involvement with RGK Exploration, a diamond explorer in the cobalt mining camp, uh, which we flew in uh, a couple years ago with a new airborne geophysics system called Airborne Magnetotilleric. What is interesting is this system imaged the earth very deep into the ground and uh, our thinking uh, a ge from a geologist's point of view is there's got to be a source of all that, that metal in the, that big mining camp because it's one of the big mining camp in, in the world. So we, we started the research lab trying to image the earth as good as we could. Um, that's how we got to know uh, RGK Exploration, which was looking at the source of the, uh, the Tiffany 800 carat diamond. So we start very deep in the earth crust, trying to understand what is the, uh, the plumbing, the earth crust uh, weakness. That's where, that's where you're going to have that deep uh, mental stuff come into surface. We did some algorithm based on known kimberlite close to be economic. 95.2 is one of them. It's about 20 kilometer to the northwest of RGK. And it's very close to be an economic pipe. You find another one like that, there's a diamond mine in cobalt. What we realized with our top-down approach, there's, there's a lot, still a lot, and most of them are on uh, RGK ground, of those features which are, have not been tested. There's two features, they call T1 and T2. Uh, which are pretty obvious. One of them is uh, go all the way. You see one of the fingers uh, is about one kilometer long. The algorithm works pretty well on that one. We don't see that very often. That's why they, they stood up. You're in uh, Lauren Granite there. And this area was one of our uh, best spot in the cobalt mining camp. There's other spot as well, but this one has a weak spot in the earth cross. We call it a, a cross fault. It's, it's a very important cross fault in the cobalt mining camp itself. So we, we got that material coming up to surface right in those weak spot. And there's, there's a big Kim train there. Um, I won't go into detail into that. I think Mr. Tony Bishop has done a very good job on that. Lately, they've done uh, SGH survey on it, which came positive for those two features. We know there's more than that on our GK ground, quite a bit actually, but we're uh, so confident in our um, technology, our lab, that we have invested ourselves some money in uh, the last private placement on our GK. We're very positive and confident that they're going to find uh, new Kimberlite and a good chance they'll be diamond ferrous.